What up, everybody? This is another episode of Games That Define Us. We are some of the Arcade Tokens. I'm Patrick Cloud. I am the Anomaly Will Farrow, and of course, we got the Thaddeus, a.k.a. A. Zordon, a.k.a. the Keeper of Games, a.k.a. the Dice Guy, a.k.a. the Tech Guy. It's a lot of a.k.a. A lot, of, a lot, a lot of. Of course, we got probably, um, this is me personally, like one of my top five favorite comedians. I'm just, I'm, I'm not just saying that because you're here. It's just like, I've seen you live funny as hell and can just Thank keep you. a laugh going for like 10 minutes straight. Comedian CP is in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, glad to be here. Big fan of the show. Chris Powell. Chris Powell, yeah. great one. I love the show. You ever Appreciate see a show it, so good? That's like if somebody came out with like, imagine if somebody came out this fall, the big eye gap too show, and I'd be like, that could have been my show. <laughs> <laughs> that could have been me. You know what I'm saying? Like, bro, like that's why like everybody around the country is like arcade tokens, of course. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> well, you could bro. you could probably you could probably sue if that happens. I feel like oh my God. Love it. <laughs> right. hey, it'd be me and the ice age squirrel as the plaintiffs. We'd be over there like, you this shit? You this shit? <laughs> little, you can't treat us like this, man. A little squirrel suit. That's of funny. <laughs> No. <laughs> well, you guys know how the uh, you guys know how the show goes. We basically each bring a game uh, that we grew up playing that helped us define us either as people or as gamers. We each bring it to the table and we talk about it and just see if the other people have, have even played it at all and if they have just you know what was going on at the time. Uh, and then afterwards, of course, we play um, the game Play, Download, Delete, which is basically F Mary Kill, but for gamers. Um, so with that said. Who do you guys, who, who's trying to go first? Who got the first game of the episode? Uh, I mean, Will, I, I do like your game, Will. Oh, so you want me to go first? I mean, you can go first. I, I go first, too. I, I'll get out of the way if you want me to. I mean, no, I'll go first. I'll okay. go first. Okay. I think different. You, so, got a, you got a classic. Uh, you got a classic. You brought a good one. Yeah, this, this goes back to the Sega Genesis days, as I've said frequently on this uh, show. I'm like I'm like the WCW of video games. Like if Nintendo was WWF, Sega is definitely WCW, and that was me. So I came through that era. I can't. I'm not gonna deny it. So um, one of the games that was on there that I thought was so dope, it was simple but epic at the same time. Vector Man. Now the first time I saw this game, like the cover alone was just like, okay, I gotta check this stuff out. So Vector Man is like, it, it was like Rayman mixed with Earthworm Jim, mixed with a little bit of Contra and just all the fixes. Like, I don't like, for some reason, I don't know why they didn't continue with this character as like a mascot, like kind of like a like Crash Bandicoot or something like that for Sega. But for some reason, it was just another one that Sega just kind of let fall through the cracks. But like, his story was epic. Like he can, uh, like he'll start off with like, certain powers as Vector Man and then you gain more. So like you'll be able to like morph into like blasters. You could shoot out bombs and stuff like that. And so it's just like in the future and you're fighting like um, basically like the or like the orbits and stuff, they've taken over the world. So it's like big sludge, big, it was kind of like a, a dope uh, message behind it as far as like cleaning up the planet and everything. And you like collect those lights to be able to continue to get your powers and stuff. That was an epic ass game to say it was on Sega. Yeah. I always I always like his design. I always thought his design yeah. was dope as hell, man. Like Vector Man, they, I think they had two Vector Mans and apparently I just looked it up. They they had a third one on the way for the Saturn, yeah. but you know, the Sega Saturn didn't do so well. So they, they got rid they of it. They did not. They didn't do well. So what are you doing? So you're pretty much just uh, run a gun. It's a it's a run and gun type of game. Uh, right, but what's the? You said you're trying to save the world or protect the planet from yeah what? from pretty much other mo other monsters. Like I mean, you can re we can go back a little bit further. It kind of has the whole yeah. Those clouds in the background look very dope. Like that's like end of the world shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's what's kind of like. So it's like a huge war that's kind of going on. While also too like there's a lot of like different type of monsters that's basically trying to take over the planet. Yeah, and so like uh, Vector Man is sent down basically to defeat them and try to basically bring peace to the communities and stuff like that. Because right now it's just like a whole bunch of stuff that's happening, and so he's been sent down to save the planet. Yep. And it, it was dope. It was. It, it's like it's a crazy story, especially like with the bosses you got to fight, like the scenes yeah. where they throw you and stuff like that. Like right now he's on an airplane, 
uh, fighting. And then there's going to be another scene where like this airplane is crashing and you're falling from the sky. And so like you have to collect I like the little uh, pieces of light and then shoot yourself off and hit people while you're falling. Yeah. Like I said, I mean, I... I remember playing this game a lot. I didn't get very far though because it, it was pretty hard. You know what I mean? Yeah. Most most games back in the day are just that's just hard. That's just what it was. Genesis. Uh, yep. Uh -huh. Sega Genesis. Sega Genesis. Yeah, man. It's it's. I mean, I'm, is it on the Sega Genesis uh, collection? Yes, it is. One oh. and two. Okay, they got both on there. Cool. Yeah. yeah. So. Was I mean, this in arcades? Nah. Not that I'm aware. I don't of. think when so. I first, when I first saw it, it was on uh, Sega. Yep, I got the cartridge and stuff like that. I've never seen it in there. Um, and then, like he said, there was supposed to be a third installment. Like we had, like uh, on Sega Saturn. Like I remember, like what's crazy about it too, it was so close to coming out, and then we don't know what happened because I remember when it was on shelves at Blockbuster. It's funny how all of these always result in the Blockbuster. Man, Blockbuster. R.I.P. What if we brought Blockbuster back? I'm just no. saying, like they take they take a lot of stuff we say on here at All Dev Gaming and RK Talk. Because I'm just saying, if somehow Blockbuster made a comeback, because we keep there talking. is a way. There is a way. We just have to like recreate the feeling, but what you do there would be different. You know what I'm saying? Like just recreate the feeling somewhere that you go to do something or to be there to download something. Maybe you know, think about it. Movie theaters are going away. What if you have to be in a space to download the new movie that week? So everybody go there after work and you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I'm just saying. Like exclusive, like you had to go there like how an amiibo works. Like you need to be right. there specifically. Yeah, to... or like uh what was that game? Uh like Pokemon Go. How like the stuff is there. You have to be there with your phone to download this. And while you're there, it's a social thing. They got popcorn, you're talking to people. Download the movie, you got it for the weekend, it's over on Monday. So yeah, I, mean, you know what I'm I mean, you could kind of do that. Let, let's just say instead, you know how you had a Blockbuster card, right? Let's just say it's a yeah. Blockbuster flash drive. Exclusive. Mm. Exclusive to that. You plug it into the plug it into a machine. It downloads the movie. You know what I mean? And yeah. importantly, it undownloads the other movie you had on there. Exactly. Exactly. You it's literally a system that it has to be connected to the thing. You know what I mean? For DR, for DRM, you know, digital rights management, all that type of stuff. Flash drive. And uh, you could have a monthly subscription too, but you still gotta go in there to get like get the movie. Hey, I mean, we're we're talking about something that might happen, so we probably should be quiet because they're probably gonna take that. That's the what idea I'm saying. Like you guys are giving away some a lot of free games. Yeah, right we, now. Should chill out. <laughs> we should chill out with all this conversation hey, right now. Hey, will though, don't put a bar in that bitch. Right? Oh, that's it. Ain't nobody. Oh, that's that. a wrap. That is a wrap. Nobody. Oh, at that <laughs> point, <laughs> at that point, it's pretty much works how like uh like those um drive-in movies or those park movies. It's like right. they're movies you can get anyway, but you pay for the experience. Yep. Hey, hey, look, if hey, I gotta... see that somewhere at a blockbuster, bro, I'm just can just 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 give us a check. That's all we asking. Like, just Come put on. us somewhere as a think tank and just let us Come create on. shit. Facts. Fact, we we've been thinking a lot of good ideas out here, and then they, they become to fruition on us like crazy. Yeah. So. Yeah, but but that was my game. Uh, like I said, Vector Man was one of my favorites. It was one of the first outside of like Sonic and Mario that I saw like could potentially be like a forefront as yeah. a huge like character for a console. But you know, just like I've always said about Sega, you know, it didn't make the best choices and stuff like that. And then, you know, at the end of the day, you know, Sonic is now working for Nintendo. So you see how I, that goes. I don't think go ahead. No, I was gonna say, where's his waist? No one had an issue with that that he ain't got no waist. I mean, nah man, he was an alien. It's made of balls. I was gonna say that, you know, it's kind of like I, I honestly looking at Vector Man now looking back, it's probably Sonic and Mario, Vector Man versus Som Samus, Aaron, Metroid, maybe. Yeah. No, no. What? What? That's not even fair. No. You know I, how many moves? At you know that time. Moves, uh, Metroid has or Samus has. She has like a million moves. That's she true. But moves. at this time, at the Se Super Nintendo Sega Genesis era, at that time, um, yes. Super Metroid. Actually, no. Metroid and Vector Man actually would match up because both would. of them roll. Yeah. They had cannons. He actually shoots more stuff than she does. And he can morph into different things. Well, you, oh, know what she can fly. you know what she can fly. You know what she can do. Though? Flat tummy <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was gonna say. You know what she can do? She could just take this dude's legs away, and then that's about it. <laughs> he just snatch his legs, and he's just sitting there, chest up. Quick sweep leg. <laughs> Quick sweep, sweep kick, and it's done. 
Just yeah. grab his legs, hide his legs, and he's done. Right. <laughs> All he so, got to do is blast her armor off, and that's it. We don't know how powerful the hands are. We don't. So, it's Vector Man for you, though. That waist thing is a real problem, though. But, uh, yeah, that was my game, Vector Man. That was one of the games that defined me. I love this game. Uh, like I said, kept me definitely in the WCW. Extra man, mega value. 